Hi, I'm Bernard Sheridan from Par Breakers Golf Academy Live, and today we're going to talk about overswing and how it affects your accuracy in your golf game. And what I see a lot of players doing is they want to imitate players like Bubba Watson and John Daly. And so when they swing, they're getting way up here, okay? And then as they, as they come back down, they're, they're, it's really difficult for them to stay connected and get some power out of the shot and to be accurate. I mean, it's very difficult to be accurate. Now, the way we want to think about this is we're going to look at a different sport. And I want you to think about this just for one moment. When you see a boxer throw a punch, okay, he sets up, let's put this club down for a second. He's in close to his body, okay, and he turns, all right, and then he, he, he moves his entire body. This arm doesn't go anywhere, okay, stays connected to him. He turns through, right here is his target, boom, he lets go, okay, and his whole body goes through the target, all right. Now, if you would see a boxer do this, how much sense would it make, okay? to pull his arm way away past him. So now as he starts to turn, he has all this open and he's got to get this arm closer to his body to build power. Same thing's happening when you overswing. When you get the club way, way, way back or your hand's really, really high. So what we want to think of is when we turn back to the top of the backswing, once our shoulders stop turning, our hands want to stop lifting. That's going to keep everything compact, okay? And the power that's really hitting the ball is our lower body, okay? And our core, our abdomen, and our glutes, okay? Our thighs, we're using the, the ground to push towards the target, okay? And we also have lateral muscles, that are helping us and obliques, all right? So all of that compactness is what's gonna make us be able to still have accuracy as we come back in, stay in front of ourselves at impact. So the next time you think about hitting some balls, okay, try to shorten your swing up a little bit and to the point where we're saying, make a nice big turn, that's what's gonna build power. Don't lift your hands real high. Just make a nice full turn and just turn right nice and through the shot and get to a full finish. That's what's going to give you power and accuracy, not a real lot of overswing. Take control of your game. Watch now at www.parbreakers.com.